Hello everybody, Anagris Gamos here, also no sketching creations, and today we're back in Minecraft with Eris here. <clears throat> well, last time we scoured the sea some more, looking for any stray resources and biomes we could find on the surface. And today, we're gonna actually do some proper caving, some proper mining. <clears throat> As for where though, I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm aiming for that one cave I found while I was out along the coast over there. Seems like a good place to start. Anyways, hope that while we're gone, our villager friends don't, you know, just tragically perish. And oh, I was also gonna look, actually no, I'm gonna do these first, these treasure maps first. So do treasure maps, then we'll do that. Let's make sure I don't have anything I don't need. Yeah, I crafted the bucket. I remember that. Sorry, right, let's, let's go look for that treasure. I thought that bamboo was a creeper for a second. Go look for this treasure, then we're gonna go caving. So let's see here. Which one's closer? So that is far away. And that is also far away. Okay. So I guess we'll just go for this one first. Now, for those of you who don't know, know how maps and treasure maps work in Minecraft, basically, the little white dot down there in the corner, see that dot right there? Right there? That represents you, the player holding this map. And normally, when you're in the range of the map, it, sh it shows a little arrow instead. But if you're off the edge of the map, it shows a circle on the edge instead. It shows the general direction you are off in. And, and, and when you, you need to get closer, you know, get on the map, you'll see more of when, when you get closer. Anyway, so, right now we are northeast of both of where these maps are, so use F3 to verify where I'm going. I need to go southwest, which yeah, it's southwest. So we we just need to go in this direction for a while until we actually get within range of the map. In fact, let me put both in my hotbar. I can easily check both of them. See, we're a lot closer to this one because we've already start. We're already off of the north. Now we're more on the east of it. So actually, let's go for this one first then because it seems a bit closer. So you just want his head. His head in that general direction that you're off the map from until you get close, so I will cut ahead to when I get to a particularly close spot. Oh. So I got I got off my boat on the way over to find this treasure, and I don't remember if I noticed this last time, but apparently we're right near a covered forest. Which any, any of you who know about these biomes might know that they might... Okay, you know they might have something interesting in them. So while I'm down here, I might as well grab his coal. Yeah, these these biomes can have something rather interesting in them, but it's a bit of a rarer find. You're not always going to locate. I should, pro I should probably eat. Yeah, it's probably a thing I should do. In fact, I should probably be thinking about making more food of varying types once I get back to the village again, because just. Working off of 24 watermelons is not going to last very long. It's basically like, it was like one hunger point per or something. One and a half. It's not very much. It's always difficult finding your first good foothold foot, foot, foot in food. It's easy on my boat here. I broke it. Carry it with me. Need some more to help top off. I could grab some of these mushrooms to actually make mushroom soup. So I said before in a previous episode that I think mushroom soup is not really all that self-sustainable. Well, it is that you find one of these biomes and you take some good mushroom samples to work with. Take some of that. You drop some. It's not, it's not a guaranteed drop, obviously. The drop rate is a little bit annoying. Let's take some of this and I'll make some mushroom soup to devour once I get back home. You know, IRL, I don't think it would be fun to mushroom soup. I don't like mushrooms in any form, IRL. Other than like, Mar it's like prop Mario mushrooms. Those are fine. Like, real regular mushrooms in any form? No thanks. I'll pass. Hard pass. Yeah, most of them I like consume them on a pizza or something. They're not my jam, you know. I guess I got nine red mushrooms. 
Okay, we got nine brown ones as well. Also, where are we? Ah, oh, we're close. See, the, the map is started to render, which means we're close. Also, I'm not heading in the correct direction. Just cut through the forest here and see if we can hopefully find a brown mushroom. A big brown mushroom. There might not be one. It's also just the end of this covered forest as well. It'd be really boring if it was. Is this really where it ends? I need to get up here and see. It's a small covered forest. I don't think that special thing is going to be here. I mean, is there is there is there use of me being facetious about that? I'm probably not using that word correctly. I always use that word thinking it means one thing, but I don't think it means what I think it means. Anyways, the thing I'm thinking about, of course, is woodland man woodland mansions. You know, the, the big giant brown mansions that house the illagers. I don't think there's one here that's too small. That's nice clearing though. Oh, there's a brown mushroom. So woodland mansions, they are scary places. They have a particular type of illager that can kill you easily. So I'm not the biggest fan of them. I'm kinda of glad I didn't encounter one. Let's see, so I, can I get nine brown mushrooms to reciprocate the nine red mushrooms? There's one. See, ideally I might try to plant these somewhere back at the village. You know, it's, it's hard to find a good place to plant them. Because they take up a good amount of space. You know, they can't be in too bright of an area. Otherwise, the, the base mushroom won't plant. And of course you gotta bone meal them, because they don't grow to this size on their own. You gotta have a good supply of bone meal to help maintain them. It's breaking the mushroom. And, oh, it's all down here. Got more than nine, got ten. Overachiever, wait. Got it just ten. Alright then. That's a good. So now night is upon us. We're very close to, to this treasure, so let's just take, take a sleep, take a nap. A nice look at the forest and the shield in her hand. Alright then. Now, let's see here. Now usually I turn I turn off view bobbing whenever I look for, I'm following a map like this, but you know I'll just leave it on for now. Because why not? <clears throat> There's a cave underneath this. I hear a spider. Hello chicken. So we are very oh, we're, oh, we're on the map now. Okay, so it's it is somewhere around here. It's so now we deploy our door. This is why I still have the doors on me. So it helps make this step a lot easier. Because it seems like a good spot. She can oh, I put my axe away. Okay. Set up right here in a stable dirt block. Now we're gonna dig. Can I can I set my boat to rise to the surface? No, you can't you can't place it under the water. Okay. Boat. In the boat you will chill there. Now with a slightly clogged inventory, I need to start digging. Gee, while I do that, I put the map in offhand so you can easily reference it. Your, your position relative to where the treasure should be. Now you, see, you guys have to sort of dig for a while till you find it, because I, I don't think the map is the most exact at pointing out where the, where the treasure is. You just kind of have to guesstimate and see if you can find it on your own. <clears throat> and for all I know, I could have better stay up on shore and dig from there. Is that it? That is, as a hole. What is in there? Huh. What is this? Oh, it's, that's a creeper. Well, hi there. Oh hi. Uh, no thanks. That wasn't the best, but oh well. Seems this has a little bit of cave access back here. Oh hi. Can you not? You get torch back. Another one? Is there a creeper dungeon? I, I know it's not. How many creepers in a row can there be? Alright then. Can I see the chest while I'm in here? Can I detonate you? That's a bit dangerous. I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. You know what? Collapse! I didn't want to do much of anything. Just letting more water in. Let's head back outside and just ignore that. 
is at C, so this map it is a bit more off in that direction actually. So let's move our door over. Put the axe back in hand. Let's move our door over. Let's put it right here. Get right in or start digging again. So this gets a little off to the left. So think we're facing in that direction. There it is. Cool, we found it. Alright then. Pick up our door. Head up to the surface. Dig, dig. Now, let's get a good place to stand. And what do we got? Oh, nice. Got some diamond. Score. I right, put away the sand. Got four diamond. That's pretty good. Some more iron. Some gold. Spare iron sword. I'll take that. Some cotton. I'll take that. A heart of the sea, which is the use of that. It's questionable. And a block of TNT. Coolio. And now, I will get rid of this map by throwing it in the chest it has pointed me to. Make a nice, a little nice sand pattern while I'm at it. There we are. <clears throat> so that's that treasure tackled. That's still this one, though, which we're still quite a ways off, but we're north. Dog. Well, there's a wolf over there, but I don't have any bones. I'll mark this spot because I want to come back for you later, so let's see here. Alright. Dog location marked. So I'll be sure to come back here later once I get some bones on me. I could probably tra tra trawl around the caves below me to find some, but no, I don't want to do that. So now we are heading south to get this treasure. South and a little bit west. So again, I will cut to when I get closer to there because you don't want to see me just going out in the open seas doing nothing for forever. So wait a minute, actually. Is there a ship here that I have not explored, possibly? Let's use our trusty F5 to probe and check. Yeah, that is a ship, alright. But have I been there? Let's see. Little dolphins. So, right about here. Not sure any drowned. No, no one? Okay. Let's dive on down. Hoop. Get in there. Nice door. Alright, I don't think I've been in this one. Let's see. Ooh, Frostwalker leather boots. Score. That's pretty nice. Fire protection. I don't need the bamboo. I already have some. Gunpowder. Gunpowder can be nice. It's not the most necessary. I'll, I'll grab it anyways. You know, I'll judge it later and whether or not I keep it. Send fire protection and, and other stuff. You know, you know what? Why not? I will actually, I will actually take the boot because I don't have any. And sure, I'll gamble. What is this? That was poison. That was a poor decision. Oh well. It's water under the bridge. Is there a front side chest? No. I think in these ones it's only the, the back chest. Okay. Alright, finish with your food poisoning. Alright then. Now you consume some more watermelon. Fix it up. Alright, again, I'll cut till I get closer to the, the tr treasure, so I'll see you there. Oh, hello. As I was getting closer to where this map leads me, there is another ship here. I haven't been to this one. I forgot to mark that last ship, because I usually mark them. Make sure I haven't gone back. Make sure I haven't already explored them. Let's see here. Is this one new? Can I get some more goods from this one? Alright, what game it is? I'm always looking for the goods. So let's see here. Got a cobblestone to mark off the ship. Boop. Now, have I been here? I don't think so. Right, let's place a door so we can browse at our leisure. Let's get some more iron. I haven't been here yet. Gold nugs. Some emeralds. Uh, get out the get out the crafting table. So take the gold nuts, nugs. We'll craft as many as we can into their ingot form. To consolidate into less inventory slots. And I still have a lot of. Uh, I'm gonna chuck out 
the dirt, because dirt's everywhere. <clears throat> I only hesitate because, you know, you can, there's, there's future potential for making, a f for setting down ground for farms, you know. So you gotta crud all this stuff in inventory. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the spare iron sword. <clears throat> it's not that hard to get more iron to make another one. So I'll get back the crafting bench and the door. Give me my bench. Is it about to be nighttime again? That was, that was a nice lag spike. Yeah, it's about to be nighttime again. So that's a little quick shanty here. So put there we get the cobblestone in the hot bar. We do a little bit of this. Can I just Yeah, that'll work. Very stable bed, you know. Alright then that night's over. So grab our bed, place a torch here. Now we continue on at your way. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get the back chest. What do you got? Some sharpened kelp fragments, rotten flesh. That's a lot of rotten flesh. And of course, there's another map chamber as well. Oh, wait. Oh, did I... Did I come here but I only took the map and nothing else? Oh. Oh, derpy derp on me. I guess I, I, I might have placed a kelp there then. See, that's why I usually mark these. Alright then, so... Now we need to head... Southwest. So you moved a bit too far over, alright. So, uh, again, I'll cut till I get close to there until something else happens. Alright then. So we've got we've gotten to the point where the map has started to load. So along the way I had to get out of my boat again. Now we're on land and we're going through a birch forest. I don't remember if I've already said this, but I don't know. Something, seems, something always feels inherently wrong about birch forest to me. Like, something about them unsettles me. Maybe, just, maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about Hero Brian. Maybe that's it. Anyways, though, now we're back at the ocean, and we're near where the treasure is. So let's cop down our boat, get closer. Let's see here. A little bit this way, it's in this mound. In this raised up mound. Okay. Let's see, it's somewhere in here. Is it by chance... Exposed already? Is there a drowned? I thought I heard a drowned. Okay. So it's somewhere in this mound here. It does not seem like it's exposed. So, time to go digging again. Set up right here. Start digging, trout. If anyone gets that reference, you get a metaphorical cookie from me. A metaphorical cookie, if you get that reference. Uh, that's a good one. I enjoy that. Oh, right offhand. Gee, the thing might be behind us. Might be just be below us. That sand tripped me up for a second. I thought it was something else. Right, let's, let's move the door to a better spot. So let's see here. Up sand. Somewhere around here. The dolphins are going to start playing with all the dropped items. Mm. Hello, dolphin. You having fun? It doesn't very seem like it's up here, so maybe, maybe it could be lower down. So if I align myself with the X, it's like deeper around here. So like, what, what if I start digging from this spot right here? It's like, it, it can, it, it, the chest can be down by the sea bottom. It's not always just on the shore. It can be down by the sea bottom as well. You know, it's more annoying when it is. My shovel's about to die, I just realized. Wait, was that it? No, it was just the air from the sand block breaking. How much durability I got left? Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. RAP that shovel. Okay, let's make a new one. While we're underwater. Let's make a bare bare minimum of stuff here. Duh. Keep all that. 
So, set one iron to make a new shovel. And then set some coal to make more torches. Well, that's not how that recipe works for me. Alright then. Uh, we're over a stack. Whoops. It's a bit too much torch. Oh well. We're still hunting for that treasure. Where could it be? That's still sand. It is still sand. Now it's sandstone. What time is it? It's like the afternoon. Keep mindful of the time above the water. Clear it some of this dirt so we can still see what I'm doing. You know what I said about doing some caving today? Yeah, I don't think it's happening at this rate. You know how long it's taking me to find these chests? Since this episode will just be all treasure hunting. What the heck, man? It's like, I'm like right on the X. My dolphin, are you stuck? You need some help there? There you go. Come on then, where is this chest? Start probing in this zone over here, which I need to move the door to do that. Sorry, I accidentally dropped all my items there. By habit, because of my usual key binds. If I didn't say it before, usually the key I keep drop bound to is the same key I bind I bound for OBS to start and stop recordings, which you know can be a problem. Anyways, let's start digging here. So you can find it. Yeah, this episode is not gonna be that eventful, will it? Come on then, where be the treasure? My shovel is going towards dying again because I can't find this friggin' chest. Wherever it may be. Let me just get out here in the water and probe again. It's like, is it under the gravel? Is that what it is? It could be under the gravel. It's not usually under the gravel, but it could be. It should be really cool if that was the case. It's like all this sand and gravel up here, and the fact that. It is now night break again. So let's make a nice little sand sandbar to rest on. Alright then. Mm. No, it isn't not fun. Did I see her drowned? Is there a drowned now? Yeah, I'll just I'm not gonna leave the bed there. I do believe I hear her drowned now. When it's spawned nearby. Hey you joker! Get out of here. This is no longer your territory. Away with you. Is my ground now. I didn't, I didn't get your flesh, did I? Okay, good. Would you clog out my inventory? I gotta delve even deeper, it looks like. Yeah, so align ourselves with the axe again. Now we gotta go trolling through all the gravel. You probably can't, it's probably hard to see anything now, so I'll up the visibility in post. Oh, there it is. Jesus, I finally found it. I was right next to it because I had the door right there. Ugh. It took me long enough. Let's get rid of that. Let's move the door up and see where our last treasure for the episode is. Let's get some more emerald. Some more iron. We have a, I mean, it almost makes up to a stack. Some gold. Some cod. And some salmon, which we also in our heart of the sea. So I get rid of this stupid map. Shove it in the chest. Alright then. Let's eat this cod. Use salmon and a cod. Let's get our hunger back in. <laughs> Alright then. I didn't get to do any caving there, but well, I guess we'll fix that next time. So, yeah, the next time. Like I did say in the end of the previous episode, this one will be about finding treasure. So, in the next episode, we will go 
actually caving to get some resources underground. So, again, in between ourselves, I'll put away the stuff I found. So, until then, my name is Anna Grissigals, also known as Catching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching as I find my way back home because I went quite a ways out. Thank <laughs> you.